Hello, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Animal Art. I'm on day 308 of my 365 days of color. Today I'm going to share with you some things I've been working on, some studio updates in this November artist vlog. All right, let's get started. I hope you're having a wonderful fall. I don't know about you, but I feel like this season is the season for color fanatics because there's just yellow and reds and oranges and hints of purple and greens, and it's been wonderful. Anna Grace is three, Zachary is one and a half. These kids are growing up real fast and I have had to cut back quite a lot in my work just so I can be more of a present mama, especially with the in crazy sicknesses that we've had around here. They are in daycare two half days a week. So two, like three hour stints at a time. So six hours total so that I can do some work. And that is just enough to bring home some like, ugh the stomach flu and um, roseola and COVID and what else did we get? We got hand, foot, and mouth. I mean like Ebola. No, I'm just kidding. We didn't get Ebola, but it sometimes feels like that because you're going through like every single night of just high fever and crying and vomiting and throwing up and all the things that just make you so exhausted and anxious at the same time. So I have gone through a bout of burnout that has also why it's a good thing I've cut back it's so hard for my personality to cut back I want to do everything I want to do it all I want to do it so I just want to be into everything and I am realizing that's just not possible for this of this age that my children are in It's so wonderful to have Zachary be so little and he is starting to say little words. He's saying surprisingly some pretty challenging words like twinkle twinkle when we're singing twinkle twinkle little star and um, he'll start the ABCs A B C D like he'll actually say that um, because he connects it to a song which is pretty impressive. Hi you look so handsome. I love I'm trying not to put pressure on myself because I tend to do that but I I my goal is to update my creative color guide for semi abstract artwork possibly before the end of the year but more likely in January this is a I have learned so much in my 365 days of color about color and I am just gonna pour in so much of what I've learned in this guide. So I'm going to include three masterclass tutorials in this guide and then a video course going over the new things and also the things that are currently in it. So it's going to be updated, it's going to be revised, it's going to have tutorials in it and the people who have already purchased that guide will have it all because I'm just going to update it to that very same spot on my website and I will just keep you posted on that. I've also updated my shop with four new paintings this one is my most recent one and I call it you can boast gladly in your imperfections and it's definitely one of my new favorites of a mountain line I still feel more inspired than ever with this fall season and to paint cat portraits wild cats domestic cats I want to paint a black panther I have a butterfly painting that I'll be adding to the masterclass I'm going to squeeze in some dog paintings I just want to paint it all guys I had so much fun with this one, but in this tutorial, this is a masterclass tutorial where I break down how I plan a painting and then how I break up a painting based on its value into shapes and color. 
and this is a beginner level one so this is extremely straightforward i walk you through step by step so that you can turn any cat or dog into this abstract style but also somewhat realistic pet portrait i know many of you are working on holiday commissions and also just pet portrait gifts so i just want to say now i'm happy to help you i may take a little while to email back but if you need help choosing colors or how to finish a painting or maybe you need tips or advice on paint or varnishes please email me I really enjoy helping and speaking of pet portraits can you see Rizzo's artistry here <laughs> I had to redo this sketch but it's okay I like the second one better Is that your little hamster? It's not working. Oh, it's not working. I think it's actually run out of batteries. We need to get some more batteries. Yeah, I'm get some sword. From the store. Mm -hmm. From the store, I can buy some hamsters. Buy some hamsters? We, you want to buy some hamsters? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's working. I just love this age that Anna Grace is at because the things that come out of her mouth are so funny. She's just hilarious and extremely smart. I'm not just saying that being her mama, she is brilliant. Now, if you're wondering what this 365 days of color is, it's a challenge I set for myself at the beginning of the year to draw and or paint every single day for at least 10 minutes. A time for me to pray and worship and create art with a focus on color. And that could mean 10 minutes just working on a painting I've been working on for weeks or starting a brand new tutorial that I work on while the kids are taking a nap. Every day is definitely a challenge with two little ones, but I've always had the goal of creating art daily to reduce stress and just to enjoy my life in color because that's how the Lord made me. So going into the new year, if you're trying to create more art, I say go for it. It is never going to be easy. It is going to be a challenge. But I find just setting the small little goal of 10 minutes a day, whether that's sketching, painting, coloring, just arting in general, I find it has improved my art so much. It's also helped me understand color, and in my own personal life, it's grown my faith, which is why I plan to continue this challenge into the next year. For So that'll be a second year of 365 Days of Color. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.